G'day viewers, it's Peter from my Bonza channel and today's video is in reply to a viewer who left a comment on my removing the background using in Pixio and you can see this is uh, the viewer there, his name is Wooden Saucer and he says this is easy to accomplish, you can get this done even in the free GIMP. What I want to see is how they remove people from a picture and in Pixio supposedly replaces the person with accurately filling in the background behind them. I want to see a real review of someone doing that. Okay, Wooden Saucer, your prayer has been answered and I'm going to attempt to do that right now for you. So uh, let's bring in Pixio up. And normally I use the photo cutter, that takes the background out. Today I'm going to use the photo eraser. Now I've never thought of doing this before because I normally don't cut people out of my photos but I can see how some people might want that so let's have a look which one shall we do first okay let's try this one now this one said so I didn't want this guy in my photo and let's see what Impixio does to get him out so we're just gonna outline the image that we want to get rid of I'm not sure how much it's supposed to go over so I'll try and keep within pretty close within the lines hopefully I'll be able to do a better job maybe make it a bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing okay that looks all right maybe a little bit here and the golf club All right, so now we're going to erase it. See what Impixio does. So what is happening is obviously it's doing its little magic in the background and uh, that wasn't very good at all. Don't know what this is, so maybe we'll try something different. Uh, we'll get rid of that and maybe I'll use a bigger brush and see if that works. And just go over a lot more. I haven't used this before, so I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll give it a shot. Golf club and hit erase and if that doesn't work we'll use this little cutter thing here obviously it takes a while for it to um, do its magic well that worked a lot better actually that's pretty good That's not too bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to save this. You may ask why I'm going to save it. And it's because I've heard that Luminar 4 does the same thing. And I want to compare Luminar 4 to Inpixio. So Luminar 4 is a photo enhancer and see if it does the same job as the Inpixio, which is developed specifically for this and for removing backgrounds. All right, let's have a look at another one. That photo was actually downloaded from the web. This photo is actually one of mine, so I'll use the same brush size, and this guy, yeah, I'll get rid of him. He's not part of the photo anyway, so he just got in the way, so maybe in this situation you do want to get rid of crap. So we'll do the same thing, we'll erase him, and see how he comes out, or doesn't come out. You'd think this might do a little bit quicker because it's a smaller image. It's taking its time, but I suppose it has to work out 
how to remove the image and also how to replace um, whatever's in the background because obviously it doesn't know what's in the background so it's got to use this little algorithm to work it out and replace it so it all looks like part of the original image. Shouldn't be too much longer. I actually would have thought this one would have been quicker than the one with the golfer, but maybe the golfer just got the basic green behind him, whereas this one's actually got waves. And look at that. I think that's pretty cool. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we'll save that one. And then I'm gonna try using on another image, which is actually, I think it's gonna be a lot harder to do. So we'll save that one. And then we're gonna try and get rid of this one. Now this photo is a lot more cluttered. And um, there's a lot more happening in the background. So I'm not too sure how is it gonna work out with this, but we'll give it a shot. Same brush. Where it's fine with the other two. Okay. I think that covered it. Okay, so we erase him. You would think this one will take a little bit longer because there's so much detail in the background. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't. And I'll be very surprised if it actually does a good job of guessing what's in the background. Like, you know, you know there's going to be that little line thing there from the uh, pedestrian crossing. And there's also, it should be that yellow line that goes past there. Cobblestone, should, it should work out all right. But it's those other bits. Obviously, the people in the background, they're not going to be there. And I can't see how Impixio is going to work that out. So it's probably going to leave a gap or something. If it does work, like I said, I'd be very, very surprised. Should play some music in the background or something, guys, to keep you entertained. I'd sing for you, but my voice sucks, and I know I would lose subscribers if I did that. So, no, no singing. Could tell you a joke. I love jokes. But then in the middle of the joke, the thing would probably uh, write itself. There you go. Okay, so that line's wrong. That line's disappeared. Let's bring that up. Just want to have a bit of a closer look. Yeah. I suppose it's got a clone tool and you probably might want to be able to fix that with the clone tool. You do your source point. So that's your source point there. Use your brush size. If it allows me to do my brush size. All right. So that was about here, say. Computer's playing funny buggers. Maybe because I'm actually recording this. It's not, it's not allowing me to do it. Oh, I might try that for another day. Obviously, oh, here we go. Anyway, you get the idea. Obviously, not working that crash. I, I want to try one more image. This one here. And what we're going to try and do is remove... Oh yeah, oh, I should save that. Save. Forgot to save. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this cabin. Uh, obviously I'm cloning, so select an arrays. There we go.
All right, so let's see if we'll get rid of the cabin. And this will be the last bit, guys. After this, um, I'll say my goodbyes. I wish you all well. I'll ask you to sub. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's interesting. So, anyway, there you go. Doesn't Pixio remove uh, people from your background? Uh, there's a yes and a no. It all depends on how cluttered your background is. So, it will on some, it won't on others. So, that's Peter from my Bonza channel. I'm thanking you guys for taking the time to watch my video. Uh, I hope that you will subscribe. All you do is click the button down below. And, um, yep. Once you've done that, hit the bell and click all or select all so that you don't miss out on future videos. Peter, my bonds channel, signing off. Catch you later, guys.